In Activity 6, Plant Growth, students monitor the pea seedlings planted in Activity 2. The students first observe and record the growth and development of their pea plants, then transplant the plants to facilitate root growth, and finally identify and discuss signs of growth in the plants. You will need the following material from the kit. Activity Sheet 6, 16 ounce paper cups, planter sticks, wire ties, magnifiers, bags of gravel, bags of potting soil, masking tape, and water sprinklers. You will also need to provide pea plant from Activity 2, metric rulers, felt tip markers, newspaper, sharpened pencils, and tap water. To prepare for session one, make three or four copies of activity sheet six for each student. To begin session one, have the students bring their pea plants from activity two to their desks and observe the plants. Give them time to locate and identify the leaves and stems. Note that although the roots are located under the soil, they should be visible along the inside walls of the planter cups. Ask students, what changes do you see in your plant from the last time you observed it? The students should notice that the stems are longer and have developed branches and delicate tendrils, and the leaves are larger and more numerous. Inform the class that growth is an increase in size or development of a living thing, and that these plants have grown and developed leaves, roots, and stems. Ask students what additional changes do you think might occur in your pea plants over time. Accept all reasonable guesses, such as the growth of the stems and branches will continue, more leaves will grow, or flowers will appear. Next, give each team of two a magnifier and a ruler and allow time to explore their plants. Students should observe the number and color of the leaves, the height, the width, and general appearance of their plants. Give each student a copy of Activity Sheet 6. Tell them to record the date and measure and record the height of their plants in the first box on their activity sheets. They should also draw a picture of their plant and add any additional useful information. When students have finished, instruct them to return the magnifiers and their plants to the designated area. To conclude session one, encourage students to make and record their observations twice each week. To prepare for session two, set up a distribution station as you did for activity two. Cover a large work surface with sheets of newspaper. Then place the potting soil, gravel, paper cups, planter sticks, wire ties, sharpened pencils, felt tip markers, and water sprinklers at the distribution station. Make sure to conduct session two when roots are visible on the inside walls of the planter cups. To begin session two, have students retrieve their plants and take them to the distribution station. Explain that their plants have grown to the point where they need to be transplanted to a larger cup in order to keep the plants growing. Then give each student a 16 ounce paper cup, a strip of masking tape, two planter sticks, and a few wire ties. Students should label their cups with the masking tape. Then have students poke a few small holes in the bottom of their paper cups with a sharp pencil and place gravel in the bottom of the cup. Students should then add about two centimeters of new potting soil on top of the gravel. Demonstrate how to remove the plant from the planter cup by holding the plant gently between the fingers at the soil line, inverting the planter cup, and tapping on the bottom of the cup to release the ball of dirt. Instruct students to place their plants into the new planter cups and fill the cups with fresh potting soil, patting the soil down gently to make it firm. Then have them insert the planter sticks and secure the plants to the sticks with the wire ties. Finally, have them use the water sprinklers to water the transplants liberally and place the plants in a cool place out of direct sunlight. The day after the plants have been transplanted, 
they should be placed again under the light source. Over the next several days, discuss with students the growth and development of their plants. Ask students how is the grown plant different from the seedling. Accept all reasonable answers and point out the thread-like tendrils on the ends of the pea plant's branches. Lead students to understand that as the plant grows taller, tendrils develop to provide additional support for the plant. They do this by wrapping around external fixtures, in this case, the plant sticks. Discuss other obvious signs of growth, such as the development of multiple branches. Encourage students to continue to make and record their observations twice each week until flowers form on the plants. Finally, inform students that they will investigate further signs of growth in the pea plants in Activity 9, Plant Life Cycle. To conclude Session 2, have students return extra potting soil and gravel to the bags and discard the newspaper. Wash the planter cups and bases and return them to the kit for use in Activity 9. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide.